I like to do most of my sharpening during the raw processing stage, whether it's in Canon's DPP or Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, but obviously, if I can get it right in camera and nail the sharpness straight away using a good lens and good technique, then I will leave it well alone. You can obviously sharpen in the camera by setting certain fun uh, custom functions and settings within the camera, but it's best to leave it blank, especially if we're shooting stock, because an agency won't like overly sharpened image they will reject it if it looks obvious and you've got jagged edges and things like that within your pixels and also it's good to let the buyer decide how much sharpening he wants to add to an image but sometimes you may want to do it yourself let's have a look at this at 100% it's sharp the 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 B is sharp it's in focus but it looks a little bit soft maybe it's because it's due to a, a, a wider aperture lack of depth of field that kind of thing so I would add a touch of sharpness to this just so that the reviewer can see that it is a sharp image and it just enhances it slightly. Now there are various ways of doing it by going into Photoshop, Sharpen, you've got all these Sharpen Edges, Sharpen More, all that kind of thing. But I'm going to show you a technique I learned years and years ago where you can very, very finely adjust the sharpness by just doing the light channels. So once you've got your image open, you go to Image, Mode, Lab Color, then you go to Image, Mode, 16 bits per channel and then you go to the window and you open up the channels palette here click on lightness and the image will go black and white so now all we're doing is working on the lightness channels once you've got to that stage you go to filter sharpen unsharp mask and I've already got it set at levels that I think are quite good but obviously this this is a bit where you have to be careful that you don't over sharpen an image you need to play with the sliders, the, the, the percentage amount of your, you're going to sharpen the image, the radius, how, how wide you want that sharpness to go, and then the threshold. I normally leave the threshold at zero, uh, the radius at about one, one and a half, something like that, and then the, the amount at around 60. You can just test those on your images. Obviously, it depends on the size of the image, how well these settings work. But you can see there, if we look at the before and after on the big image here, that's slightly soft, and then we've added very subtle sharpness you can see some detail comes in there when we when we sharpen it so it's not overly sharp and we're not destroying any pixels but we're just adding that very small element of, of sharpness to the image and just the, the lightness channels so once you've done that once you're happy with how much sharpness you've added uh, obviously again if you do too much then you're going to introduce a lot of noise and grain to the image so we'll leave it at that click OK then we go back to lab colors we can close that channels palette then we go back to image mode back to RGB and then image mode back to 8 bits per channel and you can see that we've added good sharpness to the photo it's now looking very crisp um, you can see when we zoomed out that the the the, the fur if you, that's what it's called on this bug is looking quite sharp and if we go to 100% it's looking good it's looking sharp but it's not overly sharp and we haven't destroyed like I said any of the pixels so that's a really good way of fine-tuning sharpness to an image without working on the whole image or just working on the lightness channels so give that a try learn how to do it and give it a try and see if you can get that same subtle effect on your images before uploading but remember not to overdo the sharpening